Hey guys, it's Lucas. I wanted to share with you this design that I created last night for a, a window sign that's gonna go in the front of my store. And I wanna show you the software that I use to do it. Let me share my screen. Okay, share. All right, so the software that I use to do this is called Canva and it's just canva.com. It's free unless you sign up for this pro, which I don't use. The pro will get you some extra elements and things like that, like the ones right here that have the, the crowns I can't use unless I pay for them, but they got a lot of good free options. So it's really user-friendly. You know, I search TikTok and this pops up and then I could put a little TikTok logo there. Search Instagram, I got my Instagram logo. It starts out blank. I put the bricks as my background. Then I just add the letters, you size them up. Just click on them and you size them up. You can change the colors. Really user-friendly um, website and it's, it's helpful for a lot of things. I you use it for my YouTube thumbnails for when I make videos. And also like if I'm just gonna make some like sale signs in the store, like I'll just, make something really quick and I can print it out. But for this, because it's a big window, it's 52 inches high by 25 inches wide. I'm gonna to try to use this company here called um, Printastic I'm thinking about. I've never used them before, but I found them online. For $110, they'll, they'll print me this vinyl sign that's supposed to block out everything and that's what I want in this window because the window I'm going to show you right now is actually it's right here this is the storefront and this is the bathroom so there's this window doesn't open you know there's a blind there this lizard bite sign is gone this is what it, it used to be a clothing store so all this is going to be gone but I want to completely cover this window here um, with my design and have it blacked out so you can't see through it. I'm also thinking of doing some other stuff with these windows, like put like an outline of a mason jar here, maybe some, some more literature along the bottom, and maybe even some like pictures of like a cheese, like some, some meat, some bread, some corn or produce, like the little I don't know, little things like that. You know, I'm not in love with the color of this building, to be honest, which it's uh, kind of reminds me of being back in Miami. But maybe someday the uh, the owner of the building will will paint it something something nicer. You got the lake over there, so beautiful. I could see the lake through this window here, which is going to be nice. And uh, yeah, so that's the first sign that I'm going to get. Bring it. Pull this back up for you guys. Let me know what you think, you know, about the about the sign. You know, I made this this logo myself with using this software, and then I just upload it, and then you add it to the sign. Let me know what you think about the new logo and the sign. Um, it doesn't have to be like permanent sign, but it's going to be what I'm going to have for the first year or two up in my store. I'd love to hear some feedback. Let me know if you guys found that helpful, all right? Have a great day and stay healthy.